Hey guys, um, I'm going to start this series of videos out on uh, wild plants that you can use and could be used in a survival situation with uh, one of my favorite plants, grapevine. Um, grapevine is mostly known for its fruit, but also the leaves and the tendrils, as I'm showing here, can also be eaten. I've eaten them raw, both the leaves, the young ones, and the tendrils. Um, but you can cook them as well. I've also heard that you can make food wraps with them, like wrapping meat up in them and whatnot. I've never tried that. Um, these grapes are not ready. They're not ready to harvest. They probably won't be ready to harvest for a few months now, probably later this fall. I've heard that the best time to, to harvest them are probably after the first frost. Now, it's interesting to note that uh, not only are the leaves edible, but they also have antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and astringent properties. So the leaves can help with minor bleeding. Uh, that's just a, a good little tip to know. Um, the leaves are also, and the grapes along with them, are also high in antioxidants. So, uh, this leaf shape, it's... Uh, always important to make sure that you're recognizing it. Um, although it's heart-shaped, you can tell that it's actually three-lobed. Now, from my understanding, the majority of grapes, or pretty much all grape plants, have three lobes on the leaves. You know, just don't confuse this with another plant. Make 100% certain that you know what you're looking at before you ever eat it or decide to use it. Although you probably really couldn't confuse it with anything else. <laughs> That's a probably. Grapevine can all be, also be uh, used as an emergency water source. Um, in this video, I'm not going to actually uh, cut in or sever the vines, and I hope that you guys don't go out and do this to a bunch of vines as well. I'd just like to include this as uh, just in case. Uh, I have used this before, but these plants here around my home, they're fruit bearing, so I'm not going to be using them. And uh, just, if you can, always remember to take water. But if not, this is uh, a, net, a method or a technique that you could use. Uh, one of the first ways, I'm going to mention several here, is to simply just lance or cut into the vine at the base. Now, rather than going down at it at an angle like this, um, what I like to do is I like to actually cut into it a few millimeters in an upward stroke like so. And this helps with the water uh, being collected into your container. Another method is to just simply cut it up high and you'll want to sever it completely, bend it over, place it into your container and allow it to collect that way. Another method worth mentioning also is to uh, sever the plant up high and then again down low. And then what you would want to do from here is, is position it so that the water drips from the vine and collects into a container. Um, every time that it stops dripping or flowing, you would want to take off maybe another foot from the top of the vine. And you would continue on into that manner until it stopped uh, dripping the water. I'd also like to mention right now too that this method may not work in dry periods um, or in winter months. It's probably better or going to work better for you in early spring and possibly in mid-summer. Uh, I haven't had any great success with it outside of those time periods.
grapevine can also be used as a tinder to start fires with. Um, you can just simply take it right off of a live vine. I mean, I've gotten it dry and dead before, but you can take it because you'll see it flaking from lime, live excuse me, vines often. Uh, in this video clip, you'll see me clearly going over to a vine that's live, and I'm just taking off the pieces that are flaking. And you would treat it just like you would uh, tree bark, say like cedar bark or poplar bark, um, and rough it up between your hands, separate the fibers, expose them. Um, and it works wonderful. Also, any dry pieces of uh, grapevine that you can find, you can use it to help start your fire with. Um, I'm just going to use it here with a hand drill to get a fire started. Um, I'd like to make a point right now to say that I don't consider the bow drill or the hand drill an emergency fire starting method. Um, I do enjoy uh, practicing those methods, but I don't consider it a survival method. Um, I have used grapevine as a hearth material. In these series of photos, and I've done a video over it, um, I have used it, and I believe I'm using goldenrod here as the hand drill. And it worked, it's just that I still don't consider it something that you would probably use in an emergency survival situation. Grapevine can also be used as lashing and cordage for uh, shelter making. I suppose also that you could use it for maybe trying tying together a, a tripod for cooking over a fire. Um, I've used it for all kinds of things when it comes to cordage making, so it does do well as long as it's flexible and young. Uh, you can use it for many things to basket weaving, making containers, and whatnot as well. My wife likes to use it to make dream catchers, and she's of Native American heritage, so obviously, you know, she's going to enjoy doing things like this. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed my video, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, just uh, post them below, and thank you guys, and have a good evening.